CDL exam prep 2022 through 2023, page 18. Using ABS, do not change how you brake when driving a truck, tractor, or bus with ABS. The only exception is when you are handling a straight truck or combination vehicle that has ABS on both axles. If there is an emergency stop, use the brakes without restraint. Emergency stops. Sometimes you may have another driver who is pulling over ahead of you. You can simply step on the brakes if there is a good distance between the two of you. Stop in a straight line and either apply the controlled braking or use the stab braking technique. Controlled braking technique. Step hard on the brakes and do not lock the wheels. Do not make too much movement on the steering wheel. If you must make a great steering adjustment on the wheel when it is locked, then let go of the brakes and quickly return to them again. Stab braking technique. Apply your brakes without stopping and let go only when the wheels are shut up. Resume brake application when they when the wheels reopen and start running. After the brake release, a second may pass before the wheels continue rolling. Wait until the rolling of the wheels begins before you press the brakes again. Otherwise, the truck may not be as straight as it should be. Avoid hitting the brakes hard, even in an emergency. If you do so, the wheels will not respond and the truck will skid making it difficult to control the vehicle. The advantages of air brakes. The air brake system has many benefits. Air brakes work better than other types of brakes. The components of the air brakes are fixed where the chassis is designed. The compressors of air brakes can also be used for horns, tire wipers, and some other functions. The core component of the air brake mechanism is atmospheric air, which is always available. Most vehicles, trucks, and buses on the road use air brakes because of their effectiveness. Air brakes are not only for road vehicles, Railways also use them. With air brakes, air pressure atmospheric air can be easily reserved in the storage tank. Page 19. Air brakes make it easy to slow and stop heavy trucks and buses. When driving a vehicle with air brakes, the truck or bus can easily be controlled. Wear and tear on the system components is reduced. The hose connection of air brakes is flexible. Maintenance slash inspection of air brakes. Like every other mechanical system, air brakes need maintenance and inspection. Inspecting your air brake system makes your vehicle last longer and more efficiently. Here is a basic guide to looking after an air brake system. Engine compartment checks. Look for the air compressor where the air governor is situated. You can find this where the driver sits. If the air compressor uses a belt to function, 
make sure the belt is in perfect shape, not loose and free of wear and tear. Inspect the whole system. Inspect the slack adjusters. Stop your vehicle on a level surface and make sure the wheel is not moving. You can chuck it if necessary. During your walk around inspection, check manual slack adjusters on S cam brakes. Put on your gloves and pull the slack adjusters. If any of the slack adjusters go beyond one inch with the combined push rod, then you need to fix or adjust this. Inspect the disc linings slash brake drums and hoses. Be sure that there is more than a one half crack within the width of the friction zone. Make sure the lining is not extremely thin. No parts should be faulty or missing. The air hose should be in alignment with the brake chamber. The air hose should be intact and not cut or shabby. New inspection rules. In July 2015, the US government established some new rules for the inspection of air brakes. Here are some of them. Page 20. Inspection of parking brake. Try driving the vehicle when the forward gear is in place and the parking gear is engaged. If the vehicle does not move, that means you have a functional parking brake. Inspection of service brake. Let go of the parking brake and drive the truck for a minimum of five miles per hour. Hold closely to the steering wheel after slowly hitting the brake pedal. The vehicle should be stable and not move to the right or left when you apply the brakes. If the truck wobbles to either side, then there is a need for brake adjustment. Test for air loss. Switch off the engine, but keep the key on. Lay down the brake pedal. Look at the air gauges. In a class A vehicle, there is not more than a loss of four PSI within a minute. There should not be a loss of three PSI in class B vehicles. <coughs> Low air warning. If the air gauges are not up to 60 PSI, continue fanning the compartment of the brake pedal. Expect to see a light signaling a shortage of air. Do not stop fanning until you see the air pressure reach between 40 to 20 PSI. At this point, the brake valve will shoot out. Do not focus on the gauges when this happens. Instead, watch the valves. Page 21. Chapter two, hazardous materials, hazmats. Every commercial driver operates vehicles that transport hazardous materials needs to study this chapter as a guide for the CDL hazardous materials test. After reading this chapter, you will be able to identify hazardous materials and the regulations guiding their maintenance, use, and transportation. This chapter covers the following topics. What are hazardous materials? 
Classification of hazardous materials. Why hazmat regulations exist. Marking, loading, and unloading of bulk tanks. Brace containers for safety. Loading and unloading of bulk packages. The responsibility of everyone involved in transporting hazmats. Rules for communication. Precautionary ways of handling hazmats. Mixed loading prohibition. Emergency situations. A glossary of hazardous materials. What are hazardous materials? Hazardous materials are substances or materials that pose risks and may have adverse effects on safety, health, and assets in the course of transportation. The acronym for hazardous materials is HAZMAT, or HM. You may see the acronym on road signs or in government policies. Examples of hazardous materials are explosives, solids, gases, flammable liquids, and other harmful materials. Hazmats pose a critical risk to drivers, passengers, and citizens. Therefore, the government at all levels regulates the acquisition and use of these hazardous materials.